Hello everybody, my name is Jim Will Shave. I've uh, got a, a rather special razor to a shaver from um, Jordan this video. Why do I always get mumbled up at the beginning? Anyway, this is it. This is the Stando Mongoose. The Stando Mongoose. About 104 millimeters long, I'd say about 110, maybe a little bit more grams in weight. Quite a rare razor. As rare as rock and roll shit as I'd say. Uh, it's come from America, made in America. I don't know if it's made anymore, but I know you will struggle to find it because of that, the price is hung right up. And this was sent on loan by, uh, I'll just call him Jay, because I don't know what's his full name put out there, but Jay anyway, in the West Midlands. Do you want to talk like that? No, he doesn't. I was trying to do a brummy accent again, it, it's not going to work. My Merseyside accents, it's hard to produce a brummy accent, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, okay, yeah, so this is it. The Mongoose, as you can see, it's a single edge razor, brushed finish, stainless steel, and it's an artist club style razor. What do we mean by artist club style razor? So just take it apart. There's handle, got the barley twist grip there. Nice hefty handle. Here we have top of the base plate, and I'll just remove the blade there. And there's the underside. The top cap, I don't even just see there, just etched in. It's hard, it's hard to see on the camera. What well, it does say, mongoose, mongoose. And these two posts here, they're what this blade sits on. And this is what's known as an artist club style blade. Single edge blade. <clears throat> you can only get 15 or more shaves from these blades. Rigid stainless steel, not as flimsy as a traditional double edge razor blade <clears throat> and I think they are increased in popularity because I've got a, a few razors now that take these blades so there's the blade fitted in there you see the exposure and of course these are considerably wider than your, your normal uh, double edge blade that you're probably more used to they get used a lot in uh, chevettes artist club style chevettes the feathered artist club for instance which I probably own a few and uh, yeah, so that's today's razor, the Mongoose. There is three variations. It's got this stale stainless, uh, stale stainless, stale stainless, stainless steel version. You also get an aluminium version, which is called the uh, Alu Goose. So I'll probably best say it in the American format, Alu Goose. And uh, there's a, a version three, which is the same design as the aluminium razor, but made of stainless steel with a hexagonal handle. But uh, very nice, isn't it? Chunk of a beast, chunk of a beast. I better get on with it because he's wanting it back. It is on loan, as I say. Okay, so for today, it's a sample that came from uh, Sean Arter over in Canada. Thank you very much, Sean. Sent us quite a lot of samples. And it's uh, Declaration Grooming Delta V or Delta 5, whatever you want. I think it's got a bit of a space theme. I've never seen the picture for it, the label for it, rather and notes of pear, apricot, ozone. What does ozone smell like? Ozone, musk, bamboo, and green tea. That's the, uh, that's the sort of today. I've already whipped it up. And it was only a small sample, but it's whipped up a tremendous amount of lava there. And the brush is the Archie Ocean brush. It's, I think it's a 28 millimeter, can't be sure. But made a crack and built in lava in there, look. Nice and shiny, lovely. So I'm going to wet the whiskers and I'm going to dive right in there. Quite uh, looking forward to using this razor. Been busy of late. We've run out of uh, funerals and, well, funerals, sorry. Don't uh, over dramatise it, Jim, by putting the nest on the end. You know, one funeral's enough. Don't pretend to be none anymore. And uh, travelling, what have you. And uh, the selection of pearl razors we got from India to try out, plus a few things. So, wonderful soap, great coverage. And now it's covering my bathroom floor. <laughs> so, just paint that in nicely. 
the messiest lava on YouTube. I love it now, I love just splashing it around with the old uh, large brush. And I was once stood in one of the uh, London shave shops, I think it was Truefill Hill, one in London next to uh, St James's Palace. I was looking at the bushes there, very, very expensive. And uh, I commented that the bushes did on display were too small. And uh, there was a gentleman there in his waxed barber jacket, his flat cap, and his green bellies in the middle of London. That's how posh he was. Yeah, he was dressed like a country squire in the middle of London. When I saw these bushes were too small, gosh, look at the mess of laid down here. He gave me such. Such a funny look. He went, hmm, it's your money. Yeah, it is. Right. First ever go with a stando mongoose. Um, don't think these are made by the, I say they're American made. It's nice. Mild. American made. And from what I've read, when I've researched this razor, this might be the first ever single edge razor in a traditional razor format with a handle like this. So I used the uh, Artist Club style blade. Up until this razor was developed, this is what I believe from what I've read. Oh, that's smooth, that really is nice. Yeah, from what I can make out from what I've read, the only razors to use the Artist Club style blade were Chevette's. Such as the Japanese Feather Artist Club. It's incredibly smooth. I've looked on eBay. For this razor. To no avail. But I've uh, only been using this for a few minutes and I'm already in love with it. I wish I'd uh, allowed myself more time to play with it, to uh, take it for a spin. Oh, that's lovely under the moustache, on the moustache, under the nose. Now, I could move house. come off YouTube and not return this. That's a J. <laughs> I but I wouldn't do that because that just goes against the spirit of the tube, doesn't it? And people always expect me to do things like that with my accent. These stereotype people with my accent they do. In fact, here in the Newcastle area, they actually uh, call us bin dippers. Which is very unfair. Okay, now with this being considerably wider than a normal dip ledge razor, the hollows of the neck there, see the, the blade will just ride ride over the hollows and not actually touch the hollow. So you do have to be a wee bit more for it. And you have to get the end, the edges of the head into the hollows, just like that, and that's done a cracking job. Of course, our experience with straight razors and artist club style chillettes, so it's second nature for me. But if you were to use one of these uh, blades for the first time, you would think, Christ, it's done a crap job on the neck, but you just gotta know to get the, 
the edges of the head into the hollows to save it riding over. I can tell you now, that's done a perfect job. Okay, bit of a rush there, got to get this razor cleaned, get it sent off to its uh, rightful owner. And uh, get myself prepared for work tomorrow. I'm off to uh, Amsterdam again, so what two nights at sea? I do like my nights at sea. I do enjoy it, but you don't sleep the best. I suppose sailors, merchants, seamen, Royal Navy, U.S. Navy, that sort of thing. Suppose you must find it difficult to sleep when you're not on board. But uh, I find after two nights of seeing myself being a landlubber, you, you, you just don't get the best sleep and you come back and you're absolutely knackered. I was knackered coming back off the London job uh, last night. That was mainly due to the stresses of the job because of uh, protests. One group of non-Christian protesters that turned up in London, Central London. Now that was an advertised protest. So all of these protest organisers they do inform the Metropolitan Police that they are holding a, a lawful protest. So they get published online and people can go about their business accordingly to uh, avoid the protest. But at the weekend, there was another group of protesters who didn't inform the authorities that they were protesting. And that was another non-Christian community mainly from North London. We turned up to counter protest. So if you turned up in London that day working as a lorry driver, truck driver, bus driver, coach driver, you were gonna get stuck. And it was through those London buses, red, red London buses, they were stuck, they didn't know what to do, didn't know where to go. I was stuck solid. I had passengers on board saying, uh, we're going to miss our show, we're going to... I was just shaving with the back end of the razor and I thought it was a bit too smooth. Idiot. <laughs> yeah. Why didn't you tell me? But, eh? <laughs> yeah, I've got all these passengers on, all paid good money to go and see uh, West End shows in London. Of course, they're coming down to the front of the coach to me, Jim. Well, our show's already started. And I'm like, what can I do? So that's a time think on my feet. Where I was stuck, it wasn't too far from some of the theatres. I had seven theatres on to do. So as I was stuck there, I noticed uh, a Japanese restaurant to my right. I quickly googled it, got the address and postcode of this restaurant. Got my microphone to my passengers. I says, right, for those who want to go for it on foot or just go shopping or do whatever you want to get off this coach. This is a postcode. Put it into your Google. And uh, pick you up a certain time from that postcode. Should they get moving again? 
didn't even know if it was gonna get moving again. So it's all like second guessing and what ifs and laying up the scenario and all the rest of it. So anyway, that's what it did. And uh, would have been about 45 minutes after that, the uh, Metropolitan Police decided to open up the road that I was on. Open to learn, they were just stuck there, useless to didn't know what was going on. The, they were just looking at us like stupid, because that's the way they have to act now. Because the policeman with uh, one arm tied behind the back. <laughs> so you can't blame them, are they? The cops. So we eventually get to moving, and I'm heading for a particular area and all, which has bus parking, coach parking. Finally underway, goes to turn left, a road called the Kingsway, in the Covent Garden area of London, and that's close, isn't it? Wonderful. So I have to carry straight on. Down Shaftesbury Avenue, past Chinatown, back to Trafalgar Square, around Trafalgar Square, up Fleet Street, back onto the Old Witch, then I managed to turn left, and I got there eventually, God knows how many hours late. Of course, because I dropped, dropped these people off earlier at this certain postcode by this Japanese restaurant, I gave myself another pickup to do then, didn't I, at the end of the day, yeah, so. <sighs> people scattered all over London and we had to get to a hotel, Heathrow. Mad, madness. So mentally it must have uh, tired me out because I'm not usually that tired. And I shouldn't have been tired because I actually started taking vitamins now for energy. It's uh, very smooth up. It's struggling against the, riding the cap against the grain here. I don't want this shave to be, I want it to be super BBS because I don't want to be shaving tomorrow night at sea. Not that I'm lazy, it's just... As a coast driver, bus driver, I have to park right these uh, North Sea ferries, they are so high, massive. Nice against the rain there. Yeah, so we have to park right in the bowels of the ship, right in the very bottom. Then we have to climb up with all our gear or overnight gear, so uh, the less of the carry, the better. Against the grain with this razor, with and across, I liked it. Struggling against the grain, no? Riding the cab. Which, if you're trying to achieve PBS, is uh, going to give you a razor burn. Really struggling. Loads here. Terrible, terrible. Looks like we'll be taking the razor on board. Not overly impressive there against the grain, guys. Your first pass. I thought wonderful. Lovely. But, uh, I 
especially going with the BBS results. So I'm giving myself weak, but look even. The neck, it's got the neck wonderfully. All these just trying to uh, achieve BBS going against the grain. Mild as hell. Efficient with the grain, across the grain, but uh, against the grain, no joy, I'm afraid. Okay, rinse off. <coughs> so took a good rinse. Velcro here, here, here. With most of my other razors, that wouldn't be so. That would be right down now. I wasn't prepared to do any more scrubbing though against the grain, as I see it was uh, popping out little weepers. Such a mild razor. So, but past one, past two, perfect. I loved it, but uh, just trying to get the uh, BBS results on past three, no go, no go. So, uh, great days if you don't want to be go BBS or if you've got very, very fine hair and you don't have a wire wool goosey like I do, then yeah, you can get away with it. But uh, for me personally, not worth the price tag. Soap on the other hand, the Declaration Groomer Delta V. Love the soap, perfect result well from the soap, great lava, great post show feel, and tremendous residual slickness. Okay, now for the uh, splash up. Nivea Two Face. Still trying to kill it off, and I got loads to kill off. Got a load of this one, it was selling off at a pound a bottle from uh, High Street Shop in the UK. When we knew. Maybe we were, well, when we knew it was either Nivea or the supermarket chains were going to uh, withdraw it. But it is sold. It's a place on mainland Europe, so it's Germany, I've seen. That's a shame, it is a real shame that they stop selling in this country because, uh, as it says, two phase, you get your initial burn, sterilise everything, then the oil kicks in, and you get a lovely smoothing effect. Okay, so that's it, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. That's it, I'm not afraid. Okay, razor. The Standu Mongoose, single ed edge artist club style razor, made in America. In there, I had a brand new feather AC blade. There's a little creeper there now. Soap, it was a Declaration Groomer Delta V. That was whipped up in my uh, Chinese soup bowl with the Yarchi Ocean Brush. That nice blue handy look. And finished off with Nivea Too Faced Cream. Okay guys, should you ever be searching for this razor, well, give it a go. It does have a high price tag to me. I'll never buy one because I don't get the desired BBS results, but you might. Okay guys, thanks very much for watching. Whoops, Daisy. Enjoy the rest of your week. Think of me when I'm going to see you tomorrow because it's hellish windy out there at the moment and likely others it'll be the same tomorrow. Okay. Thanks very much. Thanks for all the recent likes, comments. I appreciate you all. Bye bye now.